Hello, welcome to Linda Likes Tarot. Hi, my name is Linda. If you're new, welcome. If you're returning, what's up? I'm glad that you're back. Okay, today this reading is going to be for whoever it's meant to be for, so please be your own leader of discernment while watching this general reading. Not everything is going to resonate with you, and that is okay, so pick up what does and drop the rest for someone else to appreciate, all right? Don't forget to hit the like button and the subscribe button is greatly appreciated, and it does help out the channel. I also would like to say thank you for all your guys' um, super things, PayPal, Cash App, and Venmo donations. They're greatly appreciated and they do not go unnoticed, okay? Listen, y'all, okay. <sighs> okay. For whoever this message is for, there's somebody here from your past that is upset because you're no longer in their life, okay? I don't know if you guys just saw that orb. Um... This is, this is, this is someone here who's showing up as the emperor in reverse, okay? Um, this is definitely someone from your past that you may not have the best memories of, of okay? Um, or maybe this is somebody who was going around saying that they didn't have the best memories about you, okay? This person is now missing the way you used to care for them, or this person could have just, um, they could be missing your support or the way you were supportive or something maybe somebody's realizing like you were someone who had some genuine you know love for them if this doesn't even have to be like an ex-partner this could be like just a past person that is toxic that you left behind okay this could be a family member this could be an ex-friend um ex-lover ex-coworker i don't know what it is it's something like that it could be of significance okay um, but this is someone here who's toxic as fuck, okay? They are um, kind of confused or they're going in between a, uh, the feelings of love and hate for you and they this person needs to figure themselves out, okay? Um, I also feel like this person is trying to find a way to get towards you or come towards you or, or try to make a reappearance in your life, but I feel like this person is going to try to come in and act like like try to sh try to like tone down their toxicity but this person can't help it they're toxic this is a toxic person like they're hoping i don't know what this is someone's having a lot of nostalgic memories about you though you guys could be seeing um the number 808 right now you guys could be seeing 111 you could be seeing 33 okay i also was picking up the name brandon someone's name could be brandon nicole noel uh, Lionel, okay, these could be your names or somebody else's name. Um, I also was picking up something about a knight wanting to be a king or like a knight thinking they're a king and they deserve king privileges or something like that. Or this could be a knight that wanted you to submit to them. Like, put flip the rules where it needs to be. You, this could be a knight wanting a king to submit to them or a knight wanting a queen to submit, okay, to them. Um, because this is someone here who likes control, all right? And <clears throat> there's six people here, um, that could be blinded by something that they got going on in their world at this time, or someone wants you to be blinded, or you got people from your past, because the number six is about the past, um, that are realizing that they were blinded to you to who you are or something like that but i feel like that was made on purpose um that's for some of you not all y'all or maybe you're realizing how blinded you were in the past when it comes to this particular person that is in some form of mental conflict over you okay at this time um now you can see i don't know maybe now you can see clearly now i can see clearly now the rain has gone i'm just joking no but for real you probably you could probably you for whoever i'm speaking to you can see clearly now okay um or maybe this is how this person feels about you they're probably thinking in their head why didn't i see see the see collective in this light in the past Blase, blase, blase. Okay. Someone here could work for Amazon or um, something about Amazon is significant. Okay. You, there's a wicked man in this situation. And someone here could have been, this could have been the same man that tried to put a hex or a curse on you. 
that wants to come back to you. Child for you. Let me change the word here. Oh, I kind of like the blue. Let's keep the blue. Maybe this person wants to come in and talk to you, okay? Someone wants to definitely come in and talk to you. Let's look up the, the angel number 808 real quick for, for a little, a quick shaking. I also was picking something up about spinach dip. I don't know if somebody makes really good spinach dip or you just ate spinach dip or you like spinach dip. I know that sounds random, but that's going to be a confirmation for someone. There's something about chicken nuggies, chicken nuggets. Let me see, let me see. Angel number 808 brings a message from your angel signifying that the impeding endings in your life are part of your soul purpose and life mission. Ask the angels to help alley any fears or worries you may have about these upcoming changes. You will find with hindsight that the changes were necessary and ultimately very positive and beneficial for you. Angel number 808 tells you to be sure that the path that you chose to take aligns with your true self on every level. Your life is for you to live, made up of your choices and actions, so make sure that they are right for you. Ask yourself what is most important to you, then have the courage to create your life around it. Do not fear changing paths or paving a new one if feeling guided to do so. When you live your life from a place that reflects who you truly are, the energies of the universe come together to assist you. Angel number 808 also encourages you to keep your finances in check to ensure that you have set yourself solid foundations for yourself and your loved ones. You are to be responsible for your own income, abundance, and well-being. The universe and your angels will also support you or will always support you. But it is your responsibility to ensure that you put in the proper work and effort. This will ensure your future prosperity and it will help you to live up to your full potential on every level. Listen, whoever I'm speaking to right now, this is not a time to fuck around and find out, okay? Whoever I'm speaking to, don't be just entertaining someone just because you're bored or just, as, just because you got a little bit of extra time. You can, whatever, waste or something. Don't do it on this person, okay? If this person fully doesn't align with your life, um, don't let them have access to come back in, okay? There's a reason why there was some sort of split, okay? Let me look at 111 because I've been seeing that freaking number like crazy. Like crazy. You guys get... You guys could be something about an IQ test. Maybe someone, um, come on, nah. That's a stupid ad. Give me a second. Um, maybe someone's think, if somebody thinks you're dumb or this person's dumb or this person feels foolish or dumb for not seeing something clearly about you in the past, but now you see them clearly. So like this could have been somebody in the past that didn't think much of you. And maybe... <laughs> and now they they think much of you maybe this person makes they feel like you make them feel smaller i don't know what the fuck this is joe we have angel number one and one is a message from your angels to be very aware of your persistent thoughts and ideas as these are manifesting quickly into your your reality ensure that your beliefs your thoughts and your mindsets are positive and optimistic in order to draw the energies of abundance and balance into your life Angel number 111 signifies that an energetic gateway has opened up for you and this will rapidly manifest your thoughts into your into reality. So when you recognize angel number 111 sequence appearing to your to you frequently, take note of your thoughts at the time that they occur. When a series of 111 appears, monitor your thoughts and monitor your thoughts carefully and be sure to only think about what is what you really want not what you don't want so choose your thoughts wisely and do not put focus towards your fears as they may manifest oh god 
Okay. Lord have mercy. Maybe this person wants you to manifest them. Because this person knows you don't have good memories of them from the past. Whoever this person from the past is. Okay. Let's get it in. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what do they need to know at this time regarding this? Um, Messiod. We got awareness. Okay. So someone definitely could be manifesting you. Okay. Or you or you need to utilize this energy right now. This manifestation energy. Okay. I also feel like whoever I'm speaking to, you're getting a lot of freaking downloads at this time. Or you will. Something about the number 17 could be of significance. Maybe something here about the 17th of June. Okay. Could be significant for some of y'all. Maybe you'll be getting some sort of like lucky download here. I also feel like whoever I'm speaking to, you know what you know. So don't allow someone to come in and um, gaslight you, basically. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, tell me more. We have spiritual strength, we have light, and then we have victory and success out here, okay? Someone here could be born in 1996. Someone here could be 69 years old. Someone here could be a cusp baby. Someone here could be born on the 19th of the month. Someone here could be a life path one, nine, six. Yeah, something here is destined. We have destiny at the bottom of the deck. Something here, something about either your destiny Someone knows that you have, like, something really good coming to you. And maybe that's why they're thinking about you. Okay. I guess confirmation. Someone here could be going through some form of a spiritual awakening. I also feel like it's your victory here to get some sort of happiness or some sort of success here because of a lot of things that you have been through with this spiritual strength. Whenever I see this card, it's like you have been, you you could have been someone here who was spiritually attacked a lot and you had to overcome a lot of this, okay? Um, you become wiser because of it, you know? Your, your discernment has become stronger. So maybe you're being, I don't want to say you're being put to the test, but you know, just because you you are knowledgeable of something doesn't mean like that means oh you're never gonna deal with you know toxic ass people again okay um something like that could be of significance okay why do we have awareness i also feel like this person this toxic individual from your past they know that you've grown stronger as well they know your iq has gone up someone knows that you're not as um gullible naive or something like that like you were before that's for some of you not all y'all we got entitled okay so someone here is very entitled and they could be aware that you are aware that they're entitled we have history repeating so this is definitely somebody from your past that's very entitled and wants you to repeat history with them yikes holy spirit holy angels what's going on who is this entitled son of a bee what do we have entitled here Someone here could have the Chinese zodiac sign of the monkey who's entitled, or this is your Chinese zodiac sign and you're dealing with an entitled individual who's at a distance from you, okay? Or you put distance between both of y'all, both of y'all, okay? Someone here could have the Chinese zodiac sign of the pig. Note to date, this could be you, okay, who's aware of an entitled person, or this is the Chinese zodiac sign of someone who's entitled. Flip what we needs to go. Why do we have entitled and awareness? Someone here could have the Chinese zodiac sign of the dragon. Someone here could have the Chinese zodiac sign of the dragon or the rat. Okay, that feels entitled to something here. Maybe they feel entitled to you. And then we have snake at the bottom of the deck. Someone here could have the Chinese zodiac sign of the snake that is entitled. Okay. Or you have this Chinese zodiac sign and you're aware of someone who's very entitled or who feels entitled to something.
someone feels someone wants to come in and try to like demand that they that they have a spot at your table so to speak like someone's like no i deserve to be in your life part of this new beginning wow this is a deceptive envious person someone wants to come and be like no i'm entitled to this or someone here just feels like they're entitled to your destiny in general i don't like this holy spirit holy angels what the fuck is going on someone feels like let me see I'm also feeling like, once again, someone feels like you don't deserve something that's coming towards you. Someone feels like you don't deserve to be happy without them or something. This is annoying. <laughs> but this is what you're dealing with, okay? These are all symptoms of a cycle closing and someone refusing to, to, to bow down or... Bow, not bow down, bow out. Someone here is not... Ref someone's refusing to bow out. Why do we have awareness? This person could have a mental illness, okay? And I'm not trying to dog on no one who has a mental illness, okay? For um, for a long time, I was diagnosed for anxiety and depression. So, no, no shade, okay? Just make sure you take care of it. <laughs> because then, you know... Never mind. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what do we have awareness with Entitled? So we have trapped and perseverance. Someone here is trapped or feels trapped because you you survived something here. You overcame some sort of challenge. Someone is also feels like the victim now or they're going to try to play the victim. Oh my gosh. So this entitled person is now playing the victim because you overcame something here, some sort of obstacle that they try to put in your way to restrict you. Okay? This person... Someone now wants to find a resolution with you. Oh my God. I also feel like at the same time, this, this entitled individual who's trying to play the victim, they, they feel like your perseverance is very like endearing. Like this person also admires you. That's why this person has a problem. This is why someone has a problem upstairs in, in, in the cabeza. Okay. This person, um, they need to get they need to get that checked out or something because this person is going back and forth of like oh I hate you I want to I want to stop you I want to have control over you but at the same time they admire you for that I don't it's so fucking get a grip sir yeah someone here is upset because you're okay with being without them or you're okay with moving on and not dealing them dealing with them anymore or you're okay with accepting how things are now I don't know or someone or this same person is trying to act like everything is okay about you guys being separated but truly in the inside they want to come in and fix something with you that's how they really feel why do we have a uh, spiritual strength i feel like this person just like they can't believe you're done with them or something we have got close to you just to backstab you so this is what someone's planning or this is what someone has done in the past to you over and over again and maybe you're just over it maybe and this is clarifying spiritual strength so maybe this is something that you had to learn when it comes to dealing with this person over time there's something here about like a beaver or a a wombat i don't know give me a second i'm changing this i like it i'm gonna keep it um yeah you and another person are definitely not communicating at this time so there's no communication someone feels like you would have reached out to them by t by by this time like already by brr. someone feels like you you know like people say like oh don't worry they always come back you know, like when dudes are talking to like their bros and they're like, bro, don't worry about her. You know, they always come back. That type of shit. This person could have been, <laughs> I don't know. Maybe they were being stubborn or not trying to reach out to you, hoping that you'll reach out to them. Like this is some, like, this is the type of mindset of this person. This person feels like entitled to things. Like they feel like you, 
like they're the prize. This person feels like they're the prize or some weird shit. Tell me more. Why do we have spiritual strength? Listen, I'm only speaking from like a traditional man and woman heterosexual relationship. Listen, if you're fully balanced and you're operating out of your masculine energy and your feminine energy, like if you're masculine and you're operating out of your masculine and you're feminine and you're, you're operating out of your feminine, the man is supposed to chase, not the woman. This is a man who could be operating out of their feminine energy and they don't realize it. They're distorted feminine energy. And they're expecting you to do all the work. They're expecting you to chase after them. Entitled. Ooh. You got magic at the bottom of the deck. Tell me more. Why do we have spiritual um, strength? Maybe that's why someone tried to do a hex on you or something. Because I don't know. This is giving like bitter, bitter bitch energy. Yeah, this is someone who's in their ego that that feels like, you know, they could spend the rest of their life with you, okay? I don't know what that's about. Or maybe this is someone here that wants to come in and pretend like they want to spend the rest of their life with you. But really, they just, they just with you for finances or that's their plan to backstab you is to come in and trick you with love or try to convince you that they're your soulmate. I'm also getting like, in order to hurt you, that's what someone's plan is. Now they want to hurt you because you they feel like you hurt their pride in some way, okay, because of your strength. Because you wouldn't let them hurt you. This is why someone's mad. You hurt someone's pride. This could be a Leo that you're dealing with or someone who has Leo somewhere in their chart, okay? Not trying to dog my Leos, but I'm just saying that's a thing, Okay. Tell me more. Why do we have light? Or oh, this is just someone who has, who's very prideful in general and stubborn. We have new love. Okay. Someone is upset because they're finding out that you're about to have a new connection coming in and it's not them. Okay. This is someone here at one point that was laughing at your, at your pain. Maybe this is someone here who was laughing at your pain when it comes to like past relationships that you were dealing with or something. Um, this could have been someone here who was talking shit about you and now they upset because you moving on or you got someone new coming in. They don't want to see it. They could, they could, they don't have to see it. They can blind themselves if they want to. Why do we got <laughs> victory and success? Okay. We got money spell in reverse and then we have moving away from karma. Someone here really was been trying to, you have, okay. Someone here could have been trying to play with your money. Okay, trying to do money spells on you so that you would need them financially or something like that. So that you could communicate them, communicate to them first. Okay, this is a karmic individual you moved away from. They they felt like they could control you financially in some way. Maybe that's what the hex was to cause your your money to be low. Okay. That's how they felt they could have some sort of control over you. This is so gross. Yeah, that's a yes. Whoever you're thinking about, yes, it's them. Why do we got destiny? But it's your destiny to have everything balanced in your life because of because of the spiritual strength that you have required. Yeah. You getting something here, some sort of will of fortune here, and some sort of new beginning is bad news bears for someone. They don't like this. There's someone here that you really cannot trust. Like I said in the beginning of the read, someone here is a wicked man. This could be a, w a wicked man or a wicked woman, but it's giving wicked masculine. Why do we have destiny here? Yeah. Someone's hoping you won't pay attention to the red flags. We got red flags in reverse. So someone's hoping they can blind you. Something about your crown chakra. Maybe someone's doing a crown chakra magic on your ass. <sighs> Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. What do we have light here? Yeah, somebody went to someone and they gave them knowledge about some sort of new love that's coming towards you. Someone here could be upset because you're you're because of your privacy. They want to someone doesn't know if you have new love in your life or not as well. Maybe someone here is constantly this could be someone who's in a relationship currently that's checking up on you. What the fuck is this? Maybe somebody here is like wants to reach out to you. 
okay if this is okay if this is someone who's currently in a relationship and they're looking at their past person which is you and um they may be thinking about starting and like offering you something but the thing is like they're still with somebody else and it's like they want to they don't want to break up this relationship they're they're currently in with yet until they know for sure that you would want to be with them like they're they don't want to do that unless they know for sure that it's a yes from you they don't want to deal with rejection is what i feel like is going on and then they don't also don't want to be left alone like they don't want to be single so this could be someone who doesn't that can't be single or they can't be left alone or something like that or they can't they don't like being alone okay your family could have been doing this as well or somebody's family or someone here wants to come in and say they want to have a family with you we got blind at the bottom of the deck somebody here could be awkward now i don't know we have vision problems on here, so maybe someone here is acting like they didn't see something when they saw it, or someone here could be saying like they didn't say something when they said it. I don't know. Someone here could be denying something. What do we have, Destiny? Someone is so depressed and, and paranoid about your destiny, child. Like, chill out. Yeah. This is something that's fated to happen, though. This is something fated to happen. Someone hates that you're making good choices for yourself and you're doing things the right way. Maybe someone here was trying to like um, do hexes and curses on you so that you could fight back. So you could play Harry Potter with them. You know when you, when you, never mind. Someone wants you to sell your soul, basically. Okay. Someone here can't gain anything anymore if you end up, um, getting some sort of will of fortune in the beginning. What is up with your family? Your family's not saying something? Their family's not saying something? Or there's something here you don't know about someone's background? Maybe you don't realize this person in the background got a family. Maybe they lied about having a family? What the fuck is this about? Oh my god. Yeah, this is someone here that wants you back, or this is someone who you do have, like, a child with or children with that wants to come in and say, oh, I want you back. I want my family back. Don't believe this weirdo. Please don't believe them. Please. This person's not going to be showing their full self. Okay, something here is a cover-up. Or they're trying to cover their toxicity up. Why do we have victory and success? Someone wants you to repeat a cycle. No. No. Yeah, see, someone here is experiencing some sort of um, nightmares or they're suffering in some way, okay? Maybe their their auric field is, is riddled with a lot of dark darkness, heaviness. This is because some sort of curse here that someone tried to curse you with has backfired on them, okay? This could have been someone here that was wanting to be your friend or was pretending to be your friend or I don't know. I also feel like whoever is connected to the person that did a curse to you, all those, all the people that are connected to them are feeling this heaviness as well. They're getting some sort of backfire. They're experiencing some sort of misfortune. This could be a whole network of individuals, a whole team of people, a whole group of individuals. They scarred, okay? They all did this out of hatred. This could be your family and certain toxic friends that they involved. They all thought this was a, a bright idea. I also feel like maybe um, they're trying to send this past person back in, hoping that, you know, you're dumb. They're going to come in and try to play the blame game or, the, or they're going to try to guilt you to come back with them. Or especially if you have kids with this individual, they're going to try to say like, oh, why, would, why do you want your kids to grow up without the other parent and try to make you feel like it's your fault or some dumb shit holy spirit holy angels that's for some of you not all y'all it's because these motherfuckers is experiencing karma and they're upset because you're about to uh, get a new love offer or this person who's coming in with a love offer to you 
okay? They don't, they got wicked intentions for you. The only reason they're coming back is because they're experiencing karma. Or they want you to be bonded to the same karma they're experiencing, okay? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, why do we have awareness? This is why you need to be aware. Also, someone here is aware that you are very abundant at this time, or you're manifesting some form of abundance into your life, some sort of peace, some sort of love, okay? This is something that's destined to happen to be put into balance in your life. Whoever I'm speaking to, maybe you experienced a lack of abundance for a long time. It's your time now. Someone knows this. They want to sit at your table. They feel entitled to this. Someone feels like it's not fair. Or maybe someone might come in and even say that shit to you. Okay? You guys could be seeing 888 a lot or the number 8 is very significant for some of you. Yeah, you've you've achieved something here. Okay? Celebrations all around, bitch. Celebrations. Okay? Holy Spirit, you've grown. You've learned lessons with the number 52 out here. Okay? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, why do you have spiritual strength here? Yeah, someone's trying to find the strength to come in and say hello or communicate first. This is person. This is a person whose ego is in the way. This is the whole problem. <laughs> this is this is their whole problem. Yeah, this person. This person could be an emotional uh, emotional thief. Okay, we have emotional pain. This person wants to come in and tell you you broke their heart. Child, please. They want to play this game now. I'm over it. Or this is someone here who put you through a lot of emotional pain and they want to come in and act like, you know, they want to gaslight you to think that it wasn't that bad so you can, I don't know, or they might want to come in and make it up to you. Why do we have spiritual strength? Because I'm over this. Yeah, this person's in some sort of bondage now, okay? To the devil or some sort of lower entity, okay? They, they could have tried to curse you with something to attach to you, but you have... You have very powerful spirit, spirit, uh, spiritual protection here that did not allow this thing to attach to you. They suffering. Because something is definitely changing in the world and you're very much unbothered. <laughs> you could be very much unbothered. Okay. That's why they're getting scared. Yeah, someone wants you to be, someone wants to make you their victim. Because you see how, like, this person looks like they were kidnapped and shit? Like, someone here wants to try to stop you from doing something with the hands being tied. And someone wants to stop you from speaking something as well. Okay? No. Fuck no. Why do we got light? Yeah, there's conflict here. Someone here is, <laughs> someone here is losing it. Because... You're enlightened to something, okay? They're losing it because you're getting some form of success or happiness or you are happy. Flip warnings ago, the number 55 has been all around, okay? Number 55. Someone here could be 55 years old, okay? This could be you or someone else or the angel number 55 is significant. I'm also getting this person knows they, they, they there's nothing they can do about something too. That's another reason why they're they're upset. There's nothing they can do about you being enlightened. There's nothing they can do about you being happy. But they want to do something about it. I'm also getting someone here could be getting exposed. That's another reason why they're upset. Okay. Someone here could be going through an awakening. Someone here could be seeing 1111 11 a lot. This could be you or um, someone else. Or you have awoken someone to something that caused another person to be exposed. Does that make sense? Somebody can be very mad about that. What do we have victory and success? Yeah, we got travel. Tell me more. What do we got for travel? Confusion and illusions. Ugh. Why do we have victory and success? Protection. Listen, you need to know that you're protected if you go traveling, okay? Maybe some of you could be afraid to travel somewhere because, um... Because of somebody here trying to throw magic at you. But listen, you are protected. You need to know that. You got someone here that definitely is trying, is definitely protecting you, okay? Or there's someone here that's coming in to protect you. We got Ice King at the bottom of the deck. I don't know. 
I don't know. What did I accomplish? Someone's upset because you're going to be getting some sort of unexpected money, baby, or unexpected blessing because you learned a lesson with the number 27 on that bitch. Okay, we have intuitive Kev. This is because you listen to your intuition. Someone's mad because you listen to your intuition. You were enlightened to something. Why do we got abundance in the world? Yeah, this is something here about your family. And it's something here about a change within your family or a passing in your family. This is why you're getting some sort of abundance in your family. It's very much upset about you being aware about this, okay? Somebody could be getting injured. Damn. Or maybe when someone was traveling. So if this is someone here who was trying to get you harmed in a car accident or some sort of freak accident, they got harmed. You might find out about this. This is someone who was your op. They could have like a broken arm, a broken leg, a black eye, some chow. This is their karma with the number eight on this card. Yeah, someone here is now concerned about how protected you are. With this concerned card, they're worried because it's coming to the end of the road for these motherfuckers. Someone here could be born in 1991. Why do we have destiny? Wow, do you see that? This shit flew. Baby boo. Okay, so we have courthouse. So you're about to get some sort of will of fortune from some sort of um, decision here, ruling, um, some sort of lawsuit, court something, legality. We got occupation. There could be a doctor involved in this situation. Someone here could be bald. Don't have to be. Or you're about to get some sort of um, will of fortune because of the decision you made when it came to your occupation or what you worked on or because of your healing as well. Okay. That changed everything because you chose to heal yourself. There's something here about a mature woman that could be of significance. You definitely could be someone who's in their, in their north node. Okay. Yeah, you could be a high priestess. You definitely know something here. Someone's You know about some sort of secret that someone's upset about. Someone here is getting exposed for some sort of manipulation. Someone wants to come. So if someone's entering back in your life from the past, they just want to be like, hello, let me, let me manipulate you, please. Please let me manipulate you. Or this is someone here who's coming in acting as a puppet. So this person might come in and be like, oh, I want to support you. I want to care for you. But this person is being like coached to do something here. They're being persuaded or, or gassed up to come in and try to backstab you okay because they want to be free and they're not yeah there's something here about a gift here maybe someone here is trying to confuse you about some sort of gift or someone wants to confuse you in order to accept some sort of offer here divine feminine so just be mindful yeah we got mature man at the bottom of the deck what do we got like we have thoughts. Someone keeps thinking about you. Someone keeps thinking about if you're going to be with some sort of rich man or something. Or there's a rich man that's thinking about you. I, I, I don't know. What is this person so con concerned about? This whole group, if this is a group situation that was coming up to you, they're all concerned because one by one, the people, each person in this group that's connected to them who were involved in trying to hex you, curse you, manipulate you, keep you down and out, all that jazz. They're all getting their ass whooped. They're all getting bad karma. They're all trying to move on. They're all trying to skip town. They're all trying to like, they're all, this team, if it was a team or a group, it's no longer one. Ew. Someone got a, a sex demon on them, okay? Something here about 69 could be of significance. Something here about oral, <clears throat> oral individual, <laughs> oral stuff, okay? Oral activities could be of significance. Okay, let's get out Big Bertha and see what we got going on. Someone's just mad about you doing good, child. Wait, let's do these real quick. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what do they need to hear regarding this situation? 
someone wishes that you were blinded again or somebody wishes that they could like fool you again but they can't it's like think of me as a king again think of me as a queen again kind of vibe but you you see clearly that they're a knight like they're upset about this we have over th overactive throat it says steady throwing shade and having your name in their mouth so someone here is constantly talking shit we got 777 it says luck is on your side baby boo so all this shit talk that someone's doing about you okay all the all the shade that they're throwing it's just bringing you more and more luck it's just it's racking up their fucking karma their karmic debt and you just get more and more blessings so keep it up please tell me more spirit what's happening we have a cleanse it says clear your aura so some of you might need to do an a cleanse at this time this could be something that's very beneficial for some of you if you're into that tell me more and then we have clout chaser it says they will do anything to get some sort of attention <clears throat> so this person is trying to get your intention your attention any way that they can so because you're not communicating with them okay you hurt their ego now they're talking shit about you so that you could you could communicate to them first this is a this is child's play why do we have a negative attitude okay so it says why do i say that it says they stay in a low vibrational energy so this is someone here who is low vibrational they're the bully and the victim they play the bully role the role and the victim role this could be a covert narcissist okay we have under active um chakra it says their lack of creativity creativity and originality is making them jealous so somebody here is real jelly over you okay so someone here could be sending you a lot of the evil eye that's why you might need to cleanse your energy okay smudge your aura every day we have being extra they try to compete by doing the most but they can't keep up so someone here is acting real extra your spirit guides are on top of this shit it says mountains are being moved for you by your team so don't worry about it your spirit team is on top of this shit just like they thought they had a team in order to try to destroy you kill your dreams blah 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 steal something from you you also got a fucking team and they they aware of it holy spirit holy angels can you tell me what's going on listen um This is a big Bertha. Not everything's going to resonate with you, so please be your own leader of discernment. Tell me more. Yeah, it says, you are a rising phoenix, whoever I'm speaking to, okay? You're rising from the motherfucking ashes. There's something here about copyright could be of significance for some of you. We have coworker was paid to sabotage you. So you have a coworker here who was definitely paid to sabotage you because they didn't want you to rise up again. Tell me more, spirit. We have cleanse your space. It says Palo Santo, Florida water, sage, cedar, sound bowl, etc. This is what you're being asked to do in order to cleanse your space. Someone here is upset because you continue to persevere and you are only, you're someone here who doesn't need anybody else at this time or something in order to survive or you're not reliant on them. This is why they're upset. We have June bugs. You got good fortune. You got good fortune coming through. Okay, with the June bugs. You guys can be seeing these bugs. We got an invasion of privacy. So someone here is trying to invade your privacy. Also, you guys could be feeling like or experiencing some form of like hot flashes or like um, rushes of like warmth. Okay. You guys could be going through like a DNA upgrade or some form of like Kundalini awakening or something. Tell me more. We have, oh, okay. So somebody here could be doing this to your pictures. And this is under coworker was paid to sabotage you. So someone here could be doing some sort of sex magic on you in order to sabotage you in some way. We have watch your foods and drinks around them. So you're being asked to watch, wash, wa wash. I don't know. You need to watch your food and drinks around them. We have crying. Someone here could be crying now or someone wants to come to you crying about 
something playing the victim and this is because they're losing and you're winning okay someone here could be very dangerous at this time or someone knows that danger is coming towards them maybe one week from now okay or you need to be cautious of this dangerous person they might be coming in one week from now okay tell me more someone knows karma about to whoop that ass we got a healthy lifestyle. Somebody could be upset because you're living a healthy lifestyle or you need to live a healthy lifestyle, okay? It says upset that you're moving on and being successful. This is what someone's upset about because they were trying to play with your money. They're trying to make your money funny, child. We got armed robbery. Now somebody might want to steal something from you. So listen, it, don't be accepting invitations to certain people from your past that you know ain't shit, okay? Because someone here might want to try to do something to your foods and drinks in order to like either make you lose consciousness or confuse you or something or have you um, believe in some sort of lie or illusion so they could take from you in some way, okay? So just be mindful of that. This could be someone who's trying to come in and have a sexy time with you, okay? We have, I think there are people that help you become the person you end up being and you can be grateful for them, even if they were never meant to be in your life forever. So this is a seasonal person. This is not someone here that was meant to be a forever person, but they want to come in and convince you that they're your forever person. Okay. This person needs to let you go. And this is under dangerous. So this, <laughs> so this person may is refusing to take no for an answer because they feel entitled to some sort of good fortune that you got coming towards you. We have paid off witnesses. So someone here could have paid off some sort of witnesses here or paid off some sort of coworker here. We have bosses hoping you let them smash. So there could be like a toxic boss here that's hoping that you let them smash or they're mad because you wouldn't let them smash. It doesn't have to be a boss. It could just be someone who thought they could be the boss over you or someone who thought that they could have some sort of dominance or control over you. They were hoping that you would let them smash. Maybe you didn't let them smash. Maybe you didn't let them put their hand in the cookie jar and they're mad about it. Tell me more. We got sociopaths. So you're dealing with a sociopath. This card keeps coming out. So you're dealing with somebody here that's willing to take from you or steal from you or commit some sort of crime. We have stolen, lost evidence. Okay. I don't know. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, who is this sociopath? This could be someone in your family or a past connection. Okay. Is this sociopath? Can we get a sign, please? This is a masculine energy, okay? That is a sociopath that could be in your family or a past connection you were dealing with. Okay, we have, or both, we have coming in to offer resources and stability. So someone wants to come in and offer you assistance, support, but it's a trick. It's an illusion, okay? We have twin flame at the bottom of the deck. This could be your twin flame. That's a sociopath. That's for some of you, not all y'all. <laughs> um, or like this, like, I mean, like this could be a twin flame that didn't want to do the work and they've been demoted. Or this is someone here that's coming in to do all this because they don't want you to be with a twin flame. Okay. There you go, sociopath. Yeah, a soulmate. So this this psychopath is a soulmate. They're not a twin flame. They want to come in and convince you that they are, though. They want to con convince you that they're the real deal holy field, but they're not. Someone here could have the Chinese zodiac sign of the dog. Note the date. This could be you or someone else. This person, if they are the Chinese zodiac sign of the dog, they are going to experience some sort of karma this year. Who's this dangerous son of a bee? A Leo. So there's a Leo here who's dangerous, Okay. Or someone here is being exposed for being dangerous, all right? Or being dramatic, okay? Or stubborn, patronizing. This person could have the Chinese zodiac sign of the rabbit. Note the date that could be dangerous here. Yikes, who is this dangerous person? This person could have the Chinese zodiac sign of the goat. Note the date that could be dangerous. Or those are your Chinese zodiac signs for the one is ago. This person was fake as fuck to your face. Okay, smiling in your face, acting like they supported you, acting like they cared about you, but they didn't, okay? They could have been talking a lot of shit about you. 
okay? They could have been talking shit to someone who has the Chinese zodiac sign of the dog, okay? That's for some of you, not all y'all. Masculine energy. This could be a masculine energy that's dangerous. They want to come in and act like they want to nurture and support you, but they don't. They have some sort of agenda, so be mindful. Someone's just mad because you, you figured it out. They really thought they had you fooled in some way. They pleasuring themselves to you. We have B, okay? You guys could be seeing a lot of Bs. You got a lot of prosperity coming your way. Maybe someone here was pleasuring themselves, okay, to your pictures because they are trying to do some sort of sex magic to take some of your prosperity that you have or some sort of good fortune that's coming towards you, okay? Maybe someone... I don't know. We have this could be of significance. This is for some of you, not all y'all. Someone here could be trying to, someone's crazy. Like I was saying, someone got mental issues. Someone here might be potentially violent. We have trouble sleeping. Someone definitely is experiencing some sort of trouble sleeping. They're not thinking right. They're not thinking clearly. Someone here could be a Pisces or an Aries cusp. It says slept with someone higher up to cover their ass. So someone here could have slept with someone higher up to cover their ass. They could have paid off some sort of witnesses as well, okay? They maybe could have promised them some sort of um, prosperity, but now it's it's biting them in the ass. We have reminder because maybe they can't get your prosperity. They can't steal from you. It says you are never alone, okay? We have ancestors, angels, spirit guides, God. Maybe someone here was like really egotistical or arrogant about being able to like tie themselves to you spiritually or sexually or something like that and they couldn't and now they feel they looking dumb out in these streets and they don't like it we have itchy skin maybe someone here has an std you don't have to be someone here could be dealing with eczema someone here could be having hives because they're stressed out or something like that okay tell me more what's happening this could be you or someone else flip where needs to go it says they hate your power so somebody here definitely hates your power child and they have trouble sleeping about it too. This is an energy drainer that can no longer drain energy from you and they're upset about it. Okay. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, tell me more. There could be an age gap between you and another individual. We have spreading lies about you. So someone's going around spreading lies about you because they... They're a sociopath. We have karmic cycle complete. This is all someone could do is spread lies about you. Because some sort of karmic cycle is complete. You already learned a lesson about this person. This person was here to teach you a lesson, not be your forever person. We have now they're coming back to you. Stay strong. So someone's going to try to come back to you, whoever this energy drainer is. Okay. They want to come in and poison your mind or they're coming in to try to poison you. That's for some of you, not all y'all. Holy Spirit or sabotage you in some way. What do we have energy drainer? Or try to attach something to you. We have Aries. This energy drainer could be an Aries or they could have Aries somewhere in their chart. Who is this energy drainer? This could be a boss or somebody else. Um, put it where it needs to go. This person could be an Aries. They could have the Chinese zodiac sign of the rooster. Okay. This person could be working with a Gemini for some of you, not all y'all. Or, th or this is an ex-lover of yours. This could be an ex-boss for some of you. Or these are your Chinese zodiac signs and you're dealing with an energy drainer. Who is this energy drainer? We got twin flame. Okay. We have karmic twin flame out here. There's something here about a karmic trying to act like you're, they're your twin flame and they're not your twin flame. They're an energy drainer. <sighs> yeah. They could be working with your family or an ex. They're trying to stop you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Someone here has a sex demon on them and they're trying to attach it to you. We got sex demon. Someone's itching. Maybe they're not getting the the acquired amount of like sexual energy that they need or something. So they're like jonesing. They're going through some sort of withdrawal. I don't know. Time is it? Okay. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what else do they need to know regarding this situation? <sighs> Come on now. What the hell is going on with these cards? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what's happening? Someone's in fear. Wait, who are these? Who are these lies about? Someone's lying about how you're in, you're in a relationship with them. Someone's lying about you guys being in a relationship. What? 
There's just someone here who's being childish. Or someone's lying about you being pregnant. Or something about a child. Or someone here just wants to have some sort of success and love with you. And this is someone here who is spreading lies to you. And they can't have a new beginning with you. But they're going to try. Why do we have spreading lies about you? Receiving a gift. Older man. They're just mad because they don't want you to get something here. That's why they're spreading lies about you. Okay. You could be able to press charges on someone. We have court case here. For some sort of lies someone is spreading t on you. This could be a younger person who is a false person that could be going to prison for lying on you. You're getting justice is what's going on. You're about to get justice for someone going around spreading lies on you. You're about to get justice. We got the page of wands. This is good news that you got coming in. You guys could have been dealing with a younger fire sign, Libra. Confirmation. That's for some of you. Okay. Yeah, this person. Um, you're being. You're gonna. You're about to get some sort of good news here. Okay. You're about to get some sort. You're about. To, you're about to get good news, Divine Masculine. This is for some of you. Okay, Divine Masculine, you're going to get good news. Or Divine Feminine, you're going to get good news because you got a Divine Masculine coming in. Maybe this is someone here who's protecting you because they know about some sort of lies here that were told. Someone here could have been definitely operating at a devilish energy, okay? Yeah. Someone here was trying to restrict you. They're very much obsessed with something. Someone here could have like, someone here could have a sex addiction or some sort of addiction. Or they're addicted to your energy and they're they they're going through withdrawals and they can't have you. So they're doing anything they can to get your attention, to get your energy, to get you to come back to them, to get you to think about them, to get you to do something. Like, ugh, go away, please. Tell me more. We have Venus retrograde. It says dealing with insecurities, appearance, body image, worth worthiness or worth worthiness, relationship, sexuality. So someone here wanted you to feel dis uh in what oh my god someone here wanted you to feel insecure about something here maybe about your own body maybe someone was trying to cloud the way you look at yourself okay someone here can be part of the L LGBT community that's for some of you not all y'all tell me more maybe someone wanted you to be confused about your own sexuality that's another thing that I'm getting okay or maybe that's what someone was lying about you saying that you're whatever who cares we have they will play victim once they know they're losing so yeah someone here is losing now and now they're trying to play the victim like you hurt them you broke their heart <laughs> you you x y and z maybe someone's going off and lying and saying that you went off and had a baby on them or with another person or something like someone's making up some wild shit we have they talk about you behind their back so someone here definitely talks about you behind your back to other people because they know they can't have you no more this person's a fucking clown like on some real shit we have um hating on your psychic or spiritual gifts so someone here is upset about your psychic and spiritual gifts okay they want you to feel insecure about it they want you to stop doing it they want you to feel like you're not good enough blah 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 they also want you to feel like you don't know what you're talking about, blah, blah, blah. We have um, dark entities are using these people to work against you. So, yeah, this is this is literally like demon, demon time. People are on demon time right now because they're losing. So, um, people could be very dangerous at this time. Whoever you think you knew in the past, they're not them anymore. They're being controlled like a puppet by a demonic entity. So, like I said... You got wicked people from your past, particularly a, a wicked masculine energy. Um, yeah. Be mindful. Tell me more. Don't let this person pass your threshold of your home. <clears throat> we have cedar. It says fresh woodsy smell. It says cleanse a new home of its old energies and unwanted spirits while inviting, inviting fresh energetic vibes and protecting the new occupants so something here about cedar 
<clears throat> you might need to, um, some of you guys could have moved somewhere new. You might need to burn cedar in your home. Or like I was just saying, don't allow this person to enter the threshold of your home. Because it's like you're giving permission to whatever is attached to them to fucking hop off and roam free. So, um... <laughs> If you let someone in your home that you know has negative intentions for you or, or is low vibing, you need to do that. Burn cedar. It says this person causing you negativity is a fire sign. Or they got fire somewhere in their chart. We have toxic. It says be careful not to overindulge in alcoholic beverages or drug use at this time because someone here wants to take advantage of you or... Someone here is trying to send you lower vibrational entities to attach to you. So that's a sure way for someone, for something to enter you, okay? You leave yourself vulnerable. Tell me more. Oh. And then we have altering your values and morals on making life decisions. Someone wants you to go back on the life decisions that you've already made for yourself that you, someone basically wants to confuse you about what you already know. That's it. It's not going to work. It says causing you to act out of character, irrational emotions, mood swings. So someone wants to come towards you and get this side out of you. Someone wants you to act wild. I also feel like because you're not acting wild, you're not giving them a, a, a emotional reaction. They want to come in and like, Maybe they might come in with this mood swing, irrational emotion vibe. I don't know. Go to therapy, please. And that's not a diss. Like, go heal yourself. Figure out who hurt you. Why do you want to hurt someone else? Figure that out, please. For the sake of humanity. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what is this person's karma? What the fuck is going on? We have bodily harm or injury leading to impairment. Someone here wanted this to happen to you, now it's happening to them. So someone here might actually get a broken arm or have a broken arm or they might get injured trying to injure you or trying to come towards you because you got powerful spiritual protection. We have solar plexus chakra blocked. <clears throat> so someone here wanted you to lose some sort of willpower that you have. Someone here wanted to um, be able to have control over your life decisions and your independence. Someone wanted you to be irresponsible, but they're going to be. This is what's happening to them in their life because they were trying to play with you. We have blocked off from spirit and discernment. So someone here, this is what someone was trying to do for you. They were trying to hex you, curse you so that your discernment would be off. So that you could let them back in and they can repeat history or they can finish what they were planning to start or block you from your destined path people need a not we have chosen to be a blood sacrifice that's what somebody was trying to do for you but now they're about to get sacrificed tell me more we have those chose to wait those close to them suffering from their karma too what was i saying so people who were working in a group with this individual to try to like kill still and destroy whatever you got going on in your life they're also experiencing some sort of karma i'm also getting people who were in this team or group that were coming after you okay even people that weren't even aware that these people were doing something they're also getting karma Someone messed with the wrong one. We had people turning against him. Yeah, everybody in the group. Everybody in the group turning against them. <laughs> I'm just joking. No, but for real. Everybody in the group is turning against them, okay? Yeah, someone here could, could have lost their job or they're going to or something like that. Maybe they wanted you to lose your job. Like I was saying, money spells backfiring. They wanted you to be down and out. They wanted you to need them. They wanted you to come crawling back to them is the vibe I'm getting. Like Someone wanted to see you sorry and pitiful, okay, so they could look down on you, okay? Someone doesn't like the way your life is going. They feel like you're you're uh, too much on a high horse or they, but this is like their own perception. This is how someone is perceiving you. You know, I feel like, I don't feel like whoever I'm speaking to, you come off that way, okay? I feel like this is just someone's insecurities. That's... 
making them view you in that way, okay? Because they were looking down at you before, so I don't know what the problem is. We got backfire. It says, dark energy sent your way will be turned back on the sender. This is a final attempt. So someone here is about to do their last hex or their last curse, their last voodoo, whatever the fuck. It's, it's going to be their last one because they really going to get their ass whoops. Or they already did. And they getting their ass whoops. <laughs> we got withdrawal. It says you are moving on past those who have issues with you. It's no, It no longer matters to you. And this is why it's bothering someone. It's bothering someone that you're unbothered. You're damned if you do, and you're damned if you don't, collective. We have targeted. It says someone thinks you hurt them and are mad and out to seek revenge. So someone's targeting you. They feel like you're the cause of some sort of issue. Blase, 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 blase. This person hurt themselves. That's what they did. We have binding spell. It says someone is using spell work to keep you from using your own personal power. That's the solar plexus magic and um, backfiring. It's going to backfire. That's what's backfired. Tell me more. We have healing energy work. It says the work you have done on yourself has worked. The negative energy is dissipating. So just know that whatever you've been doing to cleanse yourself or to heal yourself, it's working, okay? We have sun protection. It says, let the rays of the sun clear any, to clear away any negative energies you might be feeling at this time. So some of you need to get some vitamin D, okay? And then we have love block spell. It says someone does not want you to be in a, ha doesn't want you to be happy in love. This is, this could very much be an ex or a family member or everybody else I just mentioned, a coworker, a friend, a da, 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 da. They all don't want you to be in love, but this is something that's destined to happen for you, for you to be in love with somebody and be happy about it. People are ridiculous, bro. It is ridiculous, to be honest. Um, should I do the shells? Let's find out what's, uh, let me do these real quick. So you got love coming in first. I was going to figure out or try to get some, one of my love decks out, but I, I fear it's going to be about the past person and I just don't want to waste my time because they're already in this fucking read heavy. <clears throat> Also, I don't want no karmic who's watching me to try to destroy this. What, what's coming up for you? Tell me more. What's happening? What do they need here? We have prioritized self-care. It says, you do so much for others. It's time for you to experience the love you deserve, okay? And let others help you. Listen, you deserve this. You deserve this new love coming into your life, whether it's a friend or romantic, whatever this is, this is support that you need. I feel like whoever I'm speaking to, you have a lot of support on the, on the, in the spiritual realm, but it's like, it's your time to have support on the 3D. And this is what these individuals are trying to stop you from having. Like, this is sick. Okay. This is, this is destined for you to have this. Okay. Tell me more. We have be the real you. It says your greatest power comes from being who you truly are. Don't let anyone sway you from expressing your authentic self. Someone here doesn't want you to express your, your authentic self. Somebody wants you to go back into like some sort of shell. Um, someone wants you to be afraid to speak your mind. Someone here wants you to be afraid of going after your dreams, going after the things that you love, going after the things that you're passionate about. They want you to be miserable like them. Okay, go out there and be you. And don't worry about any judgments either. Because the thing is, not everyone is going to like you. I, I don't have everyone that likes me. I know people that don't like me. <laughs> they make it very apparent, okay? But that doesn't matter, okay? It doesn't. Not everyone's going to like you. Not every, You're not going to be everyone's cup of tea. Just like... You know, not everyone likes the same food as you do, you know, and so, you know, everyone has their own preferences and shit. Tell me more, Spirit. It is what it is. 
We have get your power back. It says you have forgotten who you are. It says you are a child of God. So take back your motherfucking power. Okay. Take back your power. Don't let somebody come back from your past and try to take your power away. Mm. You've done too much healing, child. Something about the color blue and purple. Okay. Maybe you guys need to start wearing these colors more often. We have trust the guidance you are receiving. It says Archangel Uriel has blessed you with a brilliant epiphany. It says I am also present to clear away your worries so you can trust your divine guidance. Okay. Yeah, you're about to get some sort of download here or some sort of truth of knowledge or I don't know, but you need to thank Archangel Uriel. Let's get out the shells. I don't want this to be too long. This is going to be loud. Someone's first one or a last name could start with an S, a T, an M, a T again, an I, an L. No, that's not an L. That's a seven. An N, um, two M's, an A, oh wait, an L, a J, a Q, a K, an A, an R, a K again, a U, a C, a Y, a J again, a P. A U, a D, a B, an E, and a C. Someone here could be 37 years old or could be born in 1973. Someone here could be born on the 15th of the month or someone here could be a life past six. Um, someone here could be 40 years old, 50 years old, 70 or 80, or they were born in those years. Okay, something about the number 28 could be very significant. Okay, you guys could be seeing that number a lot. There's some sort of spiritual wealth or um, some sort of generational wealth that is about that you could be manifesting at this time. It's coming through. Someone here could be 54, 24, 25, 27. There's something here about a lesson being learned and you're being rewarded for it. Someone here could be 31 years old, 35, 34, 38, 37. That's for some of you, not all y'all. Okay, you guys could be seeing the angel number 1010 a lot. Someone's area code could be 817, 514, 214, 714, something. Something here about the 10 freeway could be of significance if you live in Los Angeles. Something here about the 10 freeway, maybe there's going to be like an accident or something. God forbid. I'm not wood. <laughs> That's not wood. Okay, something here about last year. So this could have been someone that, because we have the year 2023. So maybe um, last year, somebody you cut off ties with is trying to come back this year. That's where some of you, not all y'all. Okay. <sighs> Let's get into this. Someone's name could be Rudy. Someone's name could be Rudy. Or someone here is real rude. Or someone here could be talking shit and say that, saying that you're real rude. Or someone here is real crude. We got the word crude. I... Constructed in a rudimentary or makeshift way. The inspectors dismiss the documents as crude forgeries. So there's something here about something being fraudulent, some sort of forgery. <laughs> what? Offensively coarse or explicit. It says, especially in a relation to sexual matters, a crude joke. So someone here could be very crude when it comes to like, I don't know. Maybe this is the reason why you didn't like let them put their hand in the cookie jar because the way they talk about sexuality or something. I don't know. That's for some of you, not all y'all. Maybe it's a turnoff for some of you. 
I don't know. But we have crude out here, or someone here could be making crude jokes about um, being your guys' sexual experiences, if you've had sexual experiences with this person. We have Mayat out here. <clears throat> Something here about Mayat could be of significance. Oh, look, it's 9 11. 9 1 1. Some of you could have or come from an Egyptian bloodline. Someone's name could be Matt or Matthew. Yeah, my odd is making sure that some sort of truth is um, revealed to you or something remains balanced in your energy. Okay. Or my odd is bringing in justice for you when it comes to some sort of crude or rude individual. <clears throat> we got the word sip out here. We got sip tea. So there's some sort of tea coming through. We got a sip tea or someone here could have been, I don't know, spreading a lot of gossip about you. Okay. Or you're about to hear about somebody's karma. You're about to hear the tea. Or someone doesn't like that you're spilling the tea about them. They feel exposed. They feel upset about it. I don't know. They want to get back at you because you exposed them. Someone's name could be Jeb. Jebediah. Someone's name could be Tia. Okay. Someone's name could be Sia. I don't know. Something here about a jet. Maybe someone's coming in real fast like a jet. Or you're going to be taking off real fast like a jet. Someone's name could be... Um, Molly? Something about Hawaii. I don't know why I keep picking it up. Something about Hawaii or something. Maybe you have... Um, maybe you're... You are Hawaiian. I don't know. Something about Maui could be of significance. Oh, number four. The number 44 could be significant. You need to know that you are lovable and you are deserving of love, okay? Whoever this person from your past coming in, you deserve better than whoever this is and whatever they're coming in to offer you, okay? Someone here could definitely be pissed off about something. Somebody wants to come in and call dibs on you or something like that. We got dibs. Or you guys could be eating those little ice cream dibs. Is that what they're called? Chocolate dibs? I don't know. I need to stop saying that. Someone here could be an RN. This could be you or someone else. Someone's name could be Kenny or Ken. Someone here could be from Kentucky. Or something here about some fried chicken, y'all. That sounds bomb as hell. We got K. Someone's name could be K. Okay, Kayla. Oh, we got Kayla out here. Someone's name could be Kayla. We got Kayla. Something here about a pet. Maybe some of y'all is noticing that your pet is acting different. Okay, they're, they're, I don't know, something about your pet. We got pet out here, or maybe you're thinking about getting a new pet. That's for some of you, not all y'all. Someone's name could be Tucker. Yeah, someone's name could be Tucker. Oh, we got Tucker out here. Or somebody thinks that you're a sucker or you're going to be a sucker for something. We got Sucker out here. Or... <laughs> Or there's something here about someone reminiscing about some sort of oral situation, <laughs> okay? <laughs> Maybe you gave someone a BJ or something. You did something. Okay, moving on. Um, we got Tennessee. Someone here to be from Tennessee. We got the number 10 out here again. You're about to get the 10 of pentacles. You're about to get the 10 of cups. Something like that, child. Somebody is frightened about this. Someone's name could be RJ. We got DJ, we got CJ, we got MJ. Someone's name could be Roderick. Okay. 
Or someone's name could be Ricky. Ricky Ricardo. Someone, someone's name could be Ricky here. Someone's name could be Lucy. Lucy and Ricky. Maybe your relationship's gonna be like Lucy and Ricky out here. I don't know. Or you're real lucky. Or someone thinks that you're lucky. Or you about to get a lot of luck coming through. We got AKA out here. So also known as. Someone here could go by like an alias name. Okay. Maybe there's someone here who. Um, they're known by a certain name. But they have a second name. Like their real name. This could be like someone who's famous. You know how like people. Like, like for instance like 50 Cent. Right. He goes by 50 Cent. But his name is not 50 Cent. I don't know what his name is, but you get what I'm saying. That's not his real name. Someone here, uh, something here about somebody's sibling. Or something about Sybil. Maybe someone here has multiple, what's it called? Multiple personality disorder. disorder. Sybil, Sybil, right? Am I wrong? Is that how you say it? Oh, let me see, let me see. Or maybe someone was trying to say you're like Sybil. <laughs> That's fucked up. Let me see. Yeah. Hold on. Yes. I'm spelling it wrong. But it's still out here. It says Sybil is a 1973. That... Okay, by a book by Debbie Nathan, so those names could be significant, that tells the story of Shirley Adele Mason, those names could be significant, an American art teacher who was said to have 16 different personalities and dissoci dissociative identity disorder, known as DID, formerly, formerly known as MPD, and MPD is out here, okay? It says the book was a sensation selling millions of copies and inspiring to made for TV movies, blah, 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 blah. So someone here could have multiple personalities or something. It also says something here about the someone the they faked it. Someone faked it. Sybil faked having multiple personalities. So someone here could be faking that they're crazy in order to get out of some sort of court proceeding. That's for some of you, not all y'all. I don't know. I don't know if that's true or not, so don't quote me. What the fuck is going on? Maybe someone does have Maybe they do. Someone's name could be Vanessa, Mary, Peggy, Vicky, Ruthie, Mike, Sid. I don't know. Those are all her personalities, I guess. Um, we got the word mute. Someone wants you to shut up. So maybe someone, maybe someone was going around and saying that you have multiple personality disorder and that in order for people not to be able to listen to you, or take you seriously, or blase, blase. It's one, two, three on the clock. Something's gonna be a domino effect here. Someone here could be a pediatrician. Okay, this could be some of you, not all y'all. Someone's, someone's name could be Buck, or someone here is trying to pass the buck of the blame. Okay, when it comes to taking accountability, like someone constantly passes passes the book. Someone here could be from New Jersey. This could be you or someone else. Someone's name could be Ed. Okay, um, a lot of these motherfuckers who are passing the buck are fucking liars. We got liars out here, or they're all being exposed for being liars. Someone here could be from Arkansas. Someone's name could be Cheyenne. Someone's name could be Dylan. We got Dylan out here. Dylan. <laughs> Someone's name could be Lance.
Also, with buck, you guys could live somewhere where there's a lot of, like, I don't know, bucks, deers. Are they this? They're the same thing, right? I don't know. Whatever. Something about those animals. Someone's name could be Clancy. Someone's name could be Elena or Elaine. Because it's out here. Elena. Something about a tub. Someone needs to take a spiritual bath. Someone's name could be Chris with a K or a C. Someone's name could be Chris. Someone's name could be Anna. Someone's name could be, um, Alan. Allie. Tolan. Someone's name could be Tolan. Someone's name could go by Tay or Tayla or Nayla or Nala or Neil. Someone's name could be Neil. Someone's name could be Teddy. Or someone is like, um... What's that serial killer's name? Ted Bundy? Someone's trying to go on the run. Or someone here could run a lot. Okay, I'm gonna end this. Someone plays too much. We got the word play. That keeps showing up. We got AA out here. Maybe someone needs to go to AA because they play too much. Someone's name is Dennis. Someone's name is Diane or Diana. Something's been happening for a whole year. Something here about DPS. There's something here about like unemployment, welfare, EBT, something like that. And someone goes to Dunkin' Donuts a lot. Maybe someone here um, drives a bus or something, or they take the bus, the metro, or the train or something, the subway. Someone's name is Paul. Anubis is out here. I'm ending it. Someone's name is Tala. Okay, let's let's move on let's move on look it's 128 holy spirit holy angels that number could be very significant for some of you what do they need to hear at this time for their highest good we have repetition it says sometimes in order to move forward you must repeat situations in order to learn important lessons patterns routines and habits so yeah this is someone here that wants you to repeat history but um no i also feel like this is something here about strengthening strengthening your discernment okay this person coming back is gonna help you learn how to say no when you mean it we have partnerships it says a significant relationship is about to be forged that will assist you in expanding your growth yeah so you're about to get into a fucking union that's beautiful it's beautiful <laughs> why do i keep getting that maybe someone thinks you're beautiful or you're really handsome or someone's enamored by you or some something like that Resurrection. This is the second Rising Phoenix um, situation, symbology we got going on. It says, shake off the past and rise again. Reinvent yourself and you'll rise up from the ashes even more powerful. Okay, so you're making a bomb-ass comeback, okay? And somebody want to come in and ruin that shit, y'all. 
Yeah. Wait, what, what, the, what, what is it? Or you're about to, you're about to reunite with somebody here. That's for some of you, not all y'all. I don't know. Flip where I need to go. We got sacred traveler at the bottom of the deck. Something here about traveling. It says, um, there is an upcoming opportunity for you to move or travel. Enjoy this new adventure, journey, movement, trip. So some of you might get the opportunity to take a trip somewhere with somebody. Maybe you should take it depending on who it is. Okay, if it's this wicked, wicked masculine energy, which could be a masculine energy, could be in a feminine body or a masculine body, whatever. You need to be mindful of this individual. Maybe you shouldn't do that. Flip it where it needs to go. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what's going on? We have Ladybug. We have luck. You got a lot of luck coming towards you, baby boo. You guys could be seeing a lot of Ladybugs. It says your goals are about to manifest in a remarkable ways. It says dreams are coming to fruition. Stop and enjoy this moment. It is important to let things flow at their natural pace. Rest assured that in due course of time, your wishes will come true. Baby boo, your wishes is coming true and they coming through. Okay. I gotta be a little light with the gonging because it's like so more sweet. Okay, so we have antelope. It says decisive action. It says you are being told unequivocally, unequivocally <laughs> that it is time to get moving. Set your intentions and take action toward making your dreams a, re a reality. You have a door in front of you. Trust your instincts here. So you're being asked to trust your instincts when it comes to some sort of opportunity here to travel somewhere with somebody. Maybe someone wants to come in and take a road trip with you. Maybe this is someone you know that's not weird. I don't know. Flip where needs to go. Tell me more. We have cardinal. You guys can be seeing a lot of cardinals. Okay, those are red birds. It says you need to live. You need to live up to your fullest potential. It says explore new uh, directions and take risks in order to grow as an individual. Change may be uncomfortable. But it, is, but it is necessary. So there's something here about your new beginning. Maybe you're a little afraid to make a certain decision. Maybe you're afraid because you, you don't want to deal with any more challenges or obstacles by starting something new. Listen, I completely get it. But whoever I'm speaking to, you're holding yourself back from, from fulfilling what you want your life to be by doing so. Okay? What's the bottom of the deck? We have Hawk Spirituality. It says, fly above and beyond your day-to-day -day thoughts to observe them from a bird's eye view. It says, quieting the mind and, dis and detra detaching from your thought patterns puts you in a better position to take in messages from your spirit guides. So some of y'all, I don't know, something here about seeing something from a higher perspective. You guys could be seeing a lot of hawks, a lot of cardinals, or you could be a cardinal sign. Okay, you guys can be seeing a lot of antelopes or bucks or whatever they're called. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what else they need to hear to wrap this up? Thank you. We got 9999, lesson learned. You learned a lesson here. It says, take stock of your accomplishments and how you arrived at them. This is a reminder to maintain optimism and drive towards your goals. Maintain your momentum and know that the powers of heaven have your back. You made it. And the reward goes to you. Be proud of yourself, okay? You've been through a lot, baby boo. And it's your time to prosper, okay? This is going to be the end of your reading. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Until next time, I love you. Okay, bye.